Hi guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video, I want to show you Eclipse's feature on debugging. I made a pretty simple, um, doesn't really have anything cool to show, but it's a uh, array that I initialized to five, um, to hold five spaces of uh, int. And I wanted to initialize some number right here, and I'm going to plug that into this multiply uh, static formula or uh, function right here and it's going to initialize each index of that array and um, doesn't really have any particular reason why it's doing it but it's just uh, whatever I plug in um, in the parameters it's going to multiply that number by the current index on this for loop and X will continuously grow or should grow but you're gonna see that it does not work and then I'm gonna print out um, the last index of the array and it should be a pretty big number if it was working right and because of a dumb mistake it's pretty obvious that I started off with uh, with the index at zero because that's pretty much what you're used to doing that when you multiplied the number put in by that it will always be zero so that's why it's not working but I'm going to show you in, uh, in the debug mode um, how you can catch things like that that one was more obvious but sometimes when you're working real hard there'll be little obvious mistakes you'll make and you will not see them at first right in front of your face and it'll take things like this debugging to really see what's going on so I'm going to show you a tactic. Uh, we can make these things called breakpoints uh, on the right right here. And what that is, is when we go to debug mode, it will run the code up until a breakpoint. And then at that point, we can either skip it and go on to what's next, or we can um, go through it one step at a time. And I wanted to make a breakpoint right here. Toggle break. Whoops, need to add it. Toggle breakpoint at uh, multiply num, and so when it gets to calling this method, it will uh, it will stop, and then I have full control over how I want to go through this. And by doing that, I want to look at uh, each step within this. So what we want to do now is I already have debug, <coughs> excuse me, up here. But what we can do is go to run and say debug as java application okay, so it will give you this little funky window right here and if you look up here they have a resume button a terminate button a step into and a step over and those are going to be and right here also a step return but we haven't uh, done the first step yet so nothing you can't really return yet but I like this right here because it shows you your uh, um, the variables that you created and I as you can tell up to this point I've created the num variable that equals 3 and it has stopped at there's a little arrow you can't really see it but it's pointing at that toggle point break point and we can now either jump into this um, code right here or we could jump over it. if we just jumped over it it would just run this code but we want to jump into it so we click this button right here and now we have jumped to this line of code and the variable right now is X was set to 3 because we passed in that if we look up here we passed in num as the parameter to 3 so X takes on the 3 it's also a great way to show you how for each loop or for loops work. And now we can do uh, another step into, and we'll step into this code. And i is initialized to zero up there. And then uh, it's looking at x, and it multiplied it, and now it incremented i to one, and it just keeps going through that you notice that X is not getting any bigger so that's where our error was but that's a great way to show you where uh, the problem is so now I want to um, we can go back to Java mode and or perspective sorry and let's say I equals 1 and we want to go to um, array dot length uh, plus 1 
Okay, so now let's see if this works. Say okay, and now we're gonna run this this way and see how. Uh, I want to start it back up here. We'll stop it actually, and, and we're gonna run it again. So debug. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna step into the multiply. Okay, x is equal to 3 right now, and i is 1, so once we execute that code, we're going to go to the next one, and i is 2 and x is 3, so that should be 6, now i is 3, now x is 18, now the index is 4, and you multiply 4 by what the current x was, it gets 72. Uh, 5 for index and now we got an array index out of bounds exception so so now that we got that array index out of bounds error we want to relook over our code and see what was wrong and what we want to do is we want to say I minus 1 right here because you want to start your array at 0 and go up to array 4 and the reason that the array index out of bounds error occurred is because uh, because we had to set i to a greater number right here. It went uh, one above an initialized array uh, five in there. So once i gets to five, we want to put that should be the last uh, element in that array. So we want to say i minus one, which would be four. So that's where that error came from. And now we can. We can just run it right here because we know it's going to happen. It will work. So the last number is 360. And that is how you work the debugger. Um, if you have any questions, um, I mean, I know this wasn't a very realistic case because I kind of just made up a little dumb thing, but there are times where you're going to be running code and the number you suspect or, you know, string that you suspect should come up doesn't come up or you know you're running a GUI and it's not functioning correctly this is a great way to test what's happening at each process of your project so I thought that would be a kind of a cool little video um, right now I'm trying to work on some videos on databases working with Java on databases for the advanced tutorial that I'm making and I wanted to thank everybody for the jumping in my beginner's course. Uh, I took a lot of time to make that and try to structure it real good. And I'm trying to do that with the, the next advanced course as well. And I hope you all enjoy and thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.